Making changes is really hard, isn't it? You really have identified what it is that you really don't want in your life and you've started to work out what it is that you want, but how do you do it? Well, that's what we're going to look at today, so don't go anywhere. Tiff here from Reach Your Potential with Tiff and I show people like you how to reach your potential. So, you want to make a change. It's really difficult, isn't it? Because you've probably written out a whole list of things. If you saw a previous video of mine, I was talking about you had to make a list of all the things that you wanted to do. And if you've made a list of those things that you want to do and achieve in your life, then how do you do it? Because you're probably looking, you might have a long list. I've had, I've got lists that go for pages. And you might be looking at it going, oh, how do I do that? Like, how's that going to work? How can I get all that done? You know, I'm so busy. Right, number one thing is people are so busy. But busy doing what? What are you busy doing? You're busy chasing your tail. You're busy building your business. Are you busy because you're putting everybody else before you? Are you busy because you're building your family and creating you know, a wonderful family, which is nothing wrong with that. It's all great. But in order for you to get what you want, you've got to make some changes. And changes are tough, right? Because you're used to doing things in a particular way that has led you to this moment, to where you are now. In order for you to get to where you want to go and get all these amazing things that you want, you're going to have to make some changes and that's tough. That is really tough. And I'll share with you an example. I used to work at this golf club. I absolutely love golf. Okay, that was, a, it's been my adult passion. I teach golf as well on the side and I really loved the sport, and I do, I love the sport. I think the sport's fantastic. But the golf club that I was working at at the time, I really didn't like the golf club. So negative, people would be backstabbing, it was horrible. Uh, saying not so nice things about you, you know, if you're achieving it, they uh, put you down, all that sort of stuff. I just didn't like the environment, really didn't like the environment. I wanted to get out. I wanted to do something else because I haven't got to the point where I just didn't want to play golf anymore and I didn't want to teach golf anymore because I just, they made me feel so unhappy and I allowed that in um, that, you know, it was really depressing. I kept home crying every night. It was, it was horrible. But I wanted to make a change. So what I started to do is I started to go to, um, and I started working on me doing some personal development courses and so on, going to events, learning about new businesses, all that sort of stuff. And the thing was, was I realized that I had to make some changes. But the thing was, it was really tough because I'd come from a tennis background, learnt the sport, played on the tour, the lower level of the tour. Then, um, you know, I, I moved out of that, had a sports skills business, had a tennis coaching business, moved out of that, did a real estate um, for a while, moved out of that, learned to play golf, teaching golf. So I made a lot of changes along the way. But I was like, oh man, do I have to make another change? Like I've worked so hard already on, you know, reinventing myself each time, but do I have to do it again? And I was having a battle with it. And, but I kept looking at that environment that I was in. It was not a good environment. It really wasn't. It was, it was, <laughs> it was depressing. I, I'd have to build myself up to get there. And then it'd be okay because I had beautiful people that I was working with, like teaching. But the people I was working with, you know, the colleagues, uh, it wasn't good. And then I'd come home really depressed and upset. And you know, I, if I didn't cry every night, I cried every second night. And my husband would go, oh, Tiff, come on. 
you know, we've got to do something about this. So the thing was that I had to make some changes. So what I started to do is I started to learn how to build my golf business online and I learned how to um, grow me more and I, you know, I made some changes. I started getting up earlier and working on my mindset and all this sort of stuff. But it's, it was tough. And I still do it to this day. I still get up early in the morning. I meditate. I listen to podcasts. I go to the gym. I write out a series of 20 questions every morning on what it is that I want to achieve in my life. But I keep working on me. I keep reading. Right? I keep growing. But it's harder because I've made that decision that I'm going to do all these extra things outside of what I'm actually doing, creating videos, teaching people, because I want to keep growing me, right? So it's the changes that you're going to make are actually going to be difficult. And I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy road because it's not. But if you started working on you, even if you just did one thing each day, just one. You know, you read some of a book or you listened to a podcast or you did some meditation or even if you went and trained at the gym just to get your head clear. If you just started to just do one thing each day, you'll, over a period of time, you usually find after about 30 days and then about three months later, you notice massive, massive changes. But it's tough. But what are you going to do? Are you going to stay in the position where you are? Or are you going to move on and start working towards what it is that you really want? Because I know what I want for you. I want you to keep working. Okay, keep growing. Keep learning. But changes are tough. That's the reality. You see all these successful people, they've done this, that and the other. They work on themselves really hard. They've made changes in their life in order to create that. I'm constantly making changes in my life to, to create the success that I want to create for me. But I want that for you too. But it's tough. That's the reality. It's going to be tough. If you make a change, it's going to be tough. It's going to take work. You're going to question whether you're doing the right thing. Have faith and believe that that's the path that you're going to go on. So, what are we going to do? We're going to take action, aren't we? We're going to make one little change every day. And I'd, what I'd love you to do is leave a comment down below and share with me what that change is. And I'm wishing you an absolutely awesome day. Also, if you can share with me what you like best about what you heard today, that'd be great. And remember this, aim for the stars, take massive action. Have an absolutely awesome day. Look forward to hearing from you soon. Bye-bye.